game and what do you think about um, the performance today? I was pleased with the performance today. We asked them, said them in programme notes, and I said anywhere where people were listening, we've been good in halves. We have a really good half, and we drop off second half. Or we start poorly and then come at a better second half. Talk really today about the side. They're a good side. The, the record speaks for itself. We talked today about having a complete 90 minutes, putting a bit of a statement down to say, you know, we can perform, and I thought we did it. Would you say that's the best performance of the season? One of them. Um, I think in spells we played really well. I thought our counter-attacking football first half we, we played really, really well. As I say, they're, they're a good side. They're well coached. You can see they all know their roles. I felt they had got suckered into playing in money fields, the name rather than, than the game. Um, and that's not big in us up at all. That's just you know, the factor as it is. But... Yeah, I thought we've done all right. Yeah, and a word on Hutchins and Franklin, they, they always get goals, it seems. I think, I've said, I think it's only maybe five, six games we've not scored in, in all the games that I've been managing, be it at US or, or money, so scoring goals is never a problem. Um, scoring goals without them two in our side has been a little bit of an issue for us, so long way that continue that they're in there. Fantastic to see Mozart back on. And Deck, Deck's contribution there, Deck winning man of the match, Deck's role isn't to score goals. So whilst we put a lot of emphasis into um, Franco and Hutchie scoring and those sorts of things, there's contributions all around. But yeah, I think to get two each. But oh, the one Steve put over the bar, I'd, I'd turn around, I'd, I'd said, I was like, oh, no. and when I turn around and see it not in the net, I thought, oh, no. But yeah, no, again, another great header for his goal, and that's two. Fantastic centre forward headers in a week. Yeah, is he one of the best players you've managed this year? Um, you're, you're lucky at this level. Obviously, he is. I can't, you know, the lads take the mick out of me saying I, I sleep with his shirt. He left his shirt the other week and I took it home and they said I slept with it under my pillow. Um, but he's a great player. He's one of the good, best players we've coached. But you're lucky at this level because you get a lot of players that have come out of the pro game. So Ashton Lee. Has played Tommy Lee was here today actually and they have you know, played for games. I haven't managed them, they played an odd game here and there. But um yeah, he's definitely up there for sure. That's good. Um also um where do you think or where you stand so far in the league this season? Well I, I think Simon said the other day that the data shows that we played one of the fewest amount of games at step five, let alone in Wessex. So our league position is a little bit false. Um, if we finish the end of this season in the top six, I think that's objective achieved. Um, people will be saying, oh, you know, for what you play and pay and the players you've got. It's all hype and myth at this level. Most of that team have not played at Wessex Prem level before. We brought a majority over from Wessex 1, champions elect, as people can say, for US. But So this year's about learning the league, learning some different things. You've got to learn to manage games differently. And I think week by week we're getting there. Um, look back to FA Vars, 2-0 down, fight our way back in, 2-2, concede a goal, get beat by a side, and now one of the favourites for the FA Vars. We could and should have won that game. Flip that on a couple of months and we play Shaftesbury, 4-2 down at half-time, back to 4-4. They score with five minutes to go. That side two months previous just withered and died. It didn't show that before. We fought to the end, scored an equaliser again. So all of those things contribute to just learning and just us putting it together. And then we'll see where we are in the summer. So. Yeah. And you're starting to get more players back now. And there was a lot of injuries a couple of weeks ago. Well, last week we had 13 missing, six from injury, seven through unavailability. But I'm not alone in that. I talk to Burnley, I talk to Wilkie, I talk to a lot of managers at this level, Pat McManus at Brockmans, who are flying and they still suffer with it. So it, it's that's apparent for every club. Um, but it's a headache I've been looking forward to. We tried to get cover in every position. It was great to see Chad do the warm-up today. He started really well. Young lad, we, I said to him in the summer we'd give him an opportunity if it arose. Came round quickly, so we got him into the side. He was brilliant, but now we brought in Brigo. He's got two there. Mm -hmm. Elliot took himself off, went on holiday, so uh, Josh Hazel's come in. Two solid performances, so there's competition in everywhere now. Um, it's great, as I said, get Mozart back. 
You can get Josh Bailey back as well. And we've got four centre forwards with Steve, Deck. You can get Maka fit, Harry Bedford just a bit of mm-hmm. training, Danny Burrows. We've got plenty of cover all the way around now. And again, Callum McGeorge keeping arguably what was the best keeper in Wessex won last year out. And now, you know, he's, he's put his price, his name stands where it is, but he can't get in the side at the moment because mm-hmm. Callum's doing really well. Thought he pulled off a fantastic save for their goal, actually. Mm-hmm. Got down when he was unlucky on the rebound for a great stop. Yeah. So, yeah, that was competition in every position. And how difficult has it been to keep the players like match fit or their place playing in two seasons? We tried, but again, then it's hard. You know, I've got lads travelling from work. So, as soon as that game was off the other Saturday, we said, oh, there's training, but I'm not going to travel like 200 miles just for a training session, which then obviously rattles through the side. The lads are like, oh, well, he's not training. Should I put it in? But overall, they're a good bunch. A lot of them do their own work when we haven't got it. You can see the, the subs are out there at the end of the game just because they've not got on putting in a run and going through 20 minutes of running. So fitness isn't necessarily an issue for me. Yeah. Um, and are you happy with the squad as it is now? Are you still looking at it? No, absolutely. Um, probably maybe one more centre-half if we can get the right one. But as we've shown there, the three that played today, strong up against... A strong forward line, Kelly Laycock, one of the top scorers, he's probably up there with Duffs, um, from Horn Dean of, of, of his physique and his strength and what he does there, so that's ha- we're happy there, Crippo came on and between them, we've got Moundy coming back from injury, so so if the right person comes along, we'll look, but we're not necessarily out actively looking to add to it. And, and what um, is your hopes for the rest of the season, like are you looking to uh, progress further in the Cups and... So yeah, we well we're the I've made no secret of it. We're we're the holders of the um, Pompey Cup, so it'd be nice for us to go deep into that. Um, and we've got a, a kind dish draw if we're lucky uh, in the next round. Um, so that would be a game that we'd be looking to progress in. And as I say, for the league, just to get as high up and finish as high as we can to to see just where we are. I, I think we're. We're, we're close. We're close to clicking and being okay. And as I said, if we could get 90 minutes, I think we've done that today. Maybe you can be brutal and harsh and say maybe we got to 80, 75 minutes today, but we're not far away. So, yeah, I'm happy. Um, and the last question, like, what does it mean to be back in front of like, the home fans? Because it's good. We were hoping for a big crowd today with Pompey being off and a lot of football being cancelled. I think they want a lot around and it was good. We play well. Um, when we've got a side behind us, I think Dan in the in the fan zone part of the program said that you know it's a pompey cliche that twelve man and they can come and be strong and add to us. But when that's there, getting praise right the way, even from the warm up encouragement and everything, it, 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 it's good. That's probably the one thing that I was looking forward to coming back, and it's the one thing we really missed at US was a good fan base, a solid fan base. I think the club are happy here at the moment. We've got. Averaging over 100 every game, which when you look at attendances over the past couple of years, even though they're playing Southern League, they didn't get that many. So, yeah, no, it's good. And I think we put on a good uh, a good product for them yeah. to, to, to come and see. And sometimes we get beat, but we try and play football the right way. So it's good.